I need to know the best way to subtly announce I'm single after a breakup. Four exclamation points. <laughs> Especially to my previous roster. Hot Insta post, slide up on their story, randomly text. Ugh. All of the above. Do it. <laughs> yes. I think full flare, launch a firecracker. So someone said this to me one time, and I, I believe it was a guy. It could have been a girl. I can't remember. But remember how I, like, well, I was that one guy I saw the longest. Yes. Someone was like, I knew you were seeing somebody because of how your stories on Instagram were. Okay, meaning what? Because on Instagram, when I'm not talking to anyone, I like, I, I didn't even realize I did this and now I'm very aware of it. But apparently I like post more like thirst trap trappy Instagrams or like cute, sexy, or like just like more of my face and like mm -hmm. my outfits. And apparently when I was seeing this guy, I never thought twice of it because unfortunately when I'm posting on Instagram, it's like for a specific somebody, but since he was my somebody. I didn't think I needed to. Okay. So it was just like the tone of my Instagram story told that person that I was single again because they're like, oh, you started posting your, uh, your little thirst traps again. Okay. Okay. So I think when you become single and you, if you want people to know, mm -hmm. you have to start post the thirst traps, yeah. put a caption on there. Definitely like slide up on their stories. Cause then they'll be like, wait, what? Like, a guy like, can't well, liking the Instagrams. Yeah, a guy can't approach you because he thinks you're in a relationship and he doesn't know what he doesn't know. And then I definitely think if you want to text him like a little like winky face or something, like why not? Life's too short to not. Also, I think people all know when someone's in a relationship and they go from posting pictures with their partner to thirst traps. I think we all know like like that one person. We all know. We were like, she's posting some hot, sexy Instagram pics. Uh, I think someone's single. We it's just we just know. Uh, yeah, you can feel it. Get that on camera? <laughs> you can. Little Miss Baby Vape? Shh. <laughs> Shh. It's just a little dabble dabble. It's a little dabble. Um, I think we just know, though. Did yeah. you see when I accidentally posted my photo for Graham on my Insta story? No. I texted you about it in New Orleans. I deleted it, but it was up for a couple hours. I thought it was when you were speaking gibberish in the camera. That's what I was also doing. I went to Bourbon Street. It was a bad idea. Like I went back to college. Wait, you posted a thirst trap too? Kind of. I didn't. I, I deleted remember. it though. Like it took me like four hours, and Graham was like, "Get up and delete the photo." Wait, what was it? I don't remember. Also, I, I have it. All I remember is I woke up, <laughs> and it was Alex had so many stories, and I was clicking through, and all of a sudden there's one where she's talking, and I skipped through, and I was like, "Wait a second, why is she talking?" So I went back, and it was like, <laughs> like when she gets in your gibberish, and I was like. Oh my God. And then I like, blah, blah, blah. And then you texted me. And I thought when you texted me, it was the gibberish story, not the picture. Cause I don't remember the picture. Okay, good. Maybe I deleted it before you saw it. I think you did. Well, all that to say, I think, <laughs> I think people's story can let you know where they're at in life. I didn't want people to think I was at that point in my life. Wait, true. Yeah. I was like, Graham was like, you posted it. Like he doesn't even care. He's like, like, you sent me that photo. And then you also put it on your Insta story. If you want to delete it, delete it. If not, <laughs> don't. I, I think that people don't take their Instagram story serious enough. Like we do because our jobs is social media, but I don't think like, I have a lot of friends who never post on their story. I think use your story to your advantage. Like tell the world where you're at in life. I think if you're single and you want people to know, absolutely. And if, absolutely. And if you're seeing a guy and you want to do a little bit of a soft launch, like throw his hand in that picture. I live these soft launches now understanding them like a guy's hand. I'm like, did, Oh my God, I see what you did there. Did you see my friend that you know? Yeah, well, I saw her close friend story. Yeah, oh, well, ignore the close friends, though. Like, she put his hand on her actual story. She and I was did. like, okay, we're going soft lunch. But yeah, I was. I think you can really use your, um, and, oh my God, all the girl needs to do is create a close friend with her roster. Oh, use your close friends and let everyone know you're single and post. She could even be like, um, so glad I'm finally single. Like, she could go that in depth. That's what she should do. And add only her roster to her close friends. Or the shadow tag, which we love. Yes. She should, just, she should choose war with social media because she wants people to know. Just do it like you have nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. That's what she has to do. Close friend. Close friends is like, I'll edit my close friends sometimes. And I'm like, who's seeing this? Oh, this week I edited my close friends. Was I on or off of it? You were, I've never removed you from my close okay. friends. Yeah, same. I'm like, whatever. <laughs>